today we gonna see uh, some concept related to cryptography and the network security so basically the cryptography is uh, or you can say a security of an organization is the greatest content uh, concern of the people working at the organization so safety and the security are the pillars of a cyber technology right so it is hard to imagine the cyber world without thinking about the security so here the architecture of a security is the a very important aspect of the organization so the osi that is open system interconnection security architectures defines a systematic approach to provide a security at each layer okay so first we will see the key definitions of a uh, cryptography so first is a computer security so it's a generic name for the collection of a tools designed to protect the data and to thwart the attacks hackers and the next one is a network security so it measures to protect the data during the transmission then internet security it measures to protect the data during their transmission over a collection of a interconnected right now we'll see the osi security architecture so as we discussed uh, in a previous slide so it defines the security services and the security mechanism that can be used at each of the seven layers of the osi model to provide a security for the data transmitted over the network so this security services and mechanisms helps to ensure the confidentiality integrity and availability of a data so osi architecture is the internationally acceptable as it lays the flow of providing the safety in a organization mm -hmm. so to access the effectively the security needs of an organization and to evaluate and choose the various security product and the policy the manager responsible for security needs some symmetric a systematic way of defining the requirements of for security or characterizing the approaches to satisfying the those requirements so this is the difficult enough in a centralized data processing environment with the use of local and wide area networks so the problems are compounded now itu t recommendation x dot 800 security architecture for osi defines such a symmetric way of defining and providing a security requirement for us it provides a useful and if abstract overview of concept we will study so in this osi security architecture focuses on this concept the first one is security attack security mechanism and the security services so we'll so first one is the security attack you see so it is an attempt by a person or entity to gain a unauthorized access to disrupt or compromise the security of a system network or a device so these are defined as the actions that put at a risk on organization safety okay so the next is the security manage uh, mechanism so security mechanism is it is like a uh, protecting a system network or a device against unauthorized access tampering or other security threat the next one is the security services okay the security services refers to the different services available for maintaining the security and the safety of an organization so they help in a preventing any potential risk to security so security services are divided into five types first is authentication access control data confidentiality data integrity and the not repudiations so this is a model of a network security so in considering the place of encryption so it is useful to use the uh, following two models for a uh, the section so the first one illustrated in the figure model is the information flowing over an insecure communication channel in the presence of a possible opponents 
hence an appropriate in uh, security transformation that is encryption algorithm can be used with the suitable keys possibly negotiated using the presence of a trusted third party in this when we uh, have to send some data from the source uh, from like our side to the des uh, destination side so we have to use some transfer method like internet or any other communication channel by which we are able to send our message right so the two parties who are principals in the transactions must cooperate for the exchange of uh, exchange to take place and when the transfer of data happen from one source to another source some logical information channel is established between them by defining the route through a internet from source to destination by cooperative use of a communication protocol that is a tcp or ip by the two principal right then uh, security related and tr transformation of information to be said so some secret information is shared by the two principals and it is hopped unknown to the opponent so trusted third party may be needed to achieve secure transmission for example a third party may be responsible for distributing the se uh, secret information to the principals uh, while keeping it from uh, any opponent or a third party may be needed to that uh, uh, arbitrate the disputes between the two principals concerning the authenticity of message transmission so this model shows that there are four basic tasks in a designing a particular security service so first is design an algorithm for performing the security related transformation then generate a uh, secret information keys used by the algorithm then develop methods to distribute and share the secret information and the last one is specify a protocol enabling the principals to use the transformation and secret information so it is all related about the security you know organization thank you so much